Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at how to iterate through arrays using while loop. So before I get into the video, I would like to thank all our subscribers uh, for the continuous support that you're giving. Uh, it really means a lot to us and uh, you guys are the best. So now, let's go. Okay, so now we have our array here. Now you might remember this array from our previous video regarding for loop. So today we're going to take a look at while loop as I mentioned in the intro. So what we're going to do, we're going to type a while here. Now while loop is a bit more simple than uh, for loop because the declaration is as such. You put while and your brackets and you put $i or $x or anything that you choose as your variable less than count array. Now what this does is basically, it's basically telling the loop while $i is less than the number of values in my array, I want you to do something. So remember before you do that, you must also initialize this, like how we did in our for loop, we initialize the i. And then what we do in here, now this is where it gets slightly different. We can choose to echo our value here, array dollar i again with our html a bit to format and here what you do is you actually increment in here itself so basically what it does is after you have output what you wanted to output it then increments and goes to the next iteration so that's what you do so while loop is a bit more simple compared to for loop uh, so you can output what you want to show to your user and then you increment the values so now let's see that as you can see it in, it displays the array values cat dog chicken shark cow it appears as as that now if let's say i were to remove one more variable and i save it and you can see it again it dynamically changes now the good thing about this is no matter what size of array you have the loop will adapt to it again remember the key points you need to initialize the variable you need to tell when to stop because if not it will go into an infinite loop and you must remember to increment your variable if not it will keep iterating at the same place again it might go into infinite loop because it's not incre incrementing and it's, uh, it keeps looping in that and we've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll see you guys in the next video. And you know what? You guys are awesome. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so as it helps us tremendously. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next video. Bye.